America on alert. Authorities working around the clock to make sure that they stay one step ahead of any potential terror threat, no matter the form it comes in. The United States government reporting ISIS is using social media more and more to recruit new terrorists. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is live tonight with one expert's take on how to protect yourself and your kids. Ethan. Well, Kent, the president addressed uh, in his speech to the nation last night that terrorism has now evolved into a new era. Social media recruiting by terrorists is seen as part of that, and one local expert we spoke with says the solution is very simple. Terrorists carrying out attacks around the world and here at home. Government officials report many of today's terrorist attacks can be traced back to this. Social media is providing a platform for groups like ISIS to recruit new members like never before. And so it's very possible, and let's be clear, it's happening, that the government is watching Twitter and watching the accounts. And, and they're well aware that that account over there is doing uh, recruitment, and the government is working to handle that. Kevin Johnson is CEO of Secure Ideas in Jacksonville and an expert in the field of digital security. He says authorities are closely monitoring social media activity by groups like ISIS, but adds there's only so much they can do. The problem is we have a level of privacy that's just assumed, right? The innocent before proven guilty. Um, would you want the government watching every single thing you post on every single social media platform? No. Several social media sites are working to disable accounts used by terrorists, but Johnson points out privacy rights prevent the government from monitoring all social media activity. That's why he says preventing online terror recruiting comes down to personal responsibility. He advises against adding anyone you don't know on social media, and if you have children, closely monitoring their activity. Johnson says terror recruiters are better than you may think at building trust with people they've never even met. If the parents aren't aware of what their kids are doing, and too many parents aren't, right? Um, you're going to fail. Um, that individual level is where it's going to stop. And experts say many of these terrorists have moved from using traditional social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter to encrypted ones like Snapchat and even video game consoles. Reporting live tonight, I'm Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, The Local Station.